the kit. Comes all, all in foam, foam pieces here, all in plastic, and you've got some other goodies here, some heat shrink, the wheels, various pieces which will go through, the hinges, prop, some uh, carbon fibre rods for use for strengthening, the motor, and we've got a bit of glue here. glue here which uh, you can also get from Hobby King and uh, I'm just going to go through the book and uh, show each step okay so the first thing that we need to do is, is here in the book is to uh, check that all the parts are here. Now I'm not going to go through that step, we've already done that, but first of all we're going to start off with the step here that says uh, bevel the ailerons at 45 degrees. So these, these here are the ailerons, I've separated them, but when you get them in the kit they're actually attached and you need to get a, a sharp knife and just break the uh, little connecting pieces there to separate the ailerons and then you need to have a backing board like this piece of old wood here put down the uh, the aileron and you just got to the, the purpose for this this beveling by the way is that when the hinges are on here the wing tilts up the, the the aileron flips like that down in that that mode you know and so you can't have two square edges there so you need to have the the tilting uh, uh, sorry the uh, 45 degree angle there so you can just see here that I've cut this one and the way I did that is I just got a steel rule and I put it on the edge there I've got my very sharp brand new blade knife I just went to roughly 45 degrees doesn't have to be dead accurate and then go to the last bit you can tell where 45 degrees is because uh, you've got a five millimeter thickness material so if you measure in five millimeters from the end and then cut down on the angle as I said doesn't need to be dead accurate so I've done both of these pieces and that is step one. The second step in the process is to uh, attach the wings using the hinges which are provided. Here's uh, one of the hinges you can see that it's uh, it's just a, a tiny little piece of plastic just a quite a flimsy little hinge but very effective and the way they go in is from the top as shown in the manual so we're going to flip this wing over and you can see here we know we've got each one in the right place because of this uh, decal here so the sign here matches up and you can see the little slots where these hinges go so obviously you're going to need a bit of glue to put them in but the way you do it here, I'll just try and uh, zoom in here if we can so that you can see there you go they just sit in here like so in the, in the slots that are provided basically just like that so the easiest way will be for you to uh, glue one side in at a time and that's the way I'm going to do it I'll just zoom out there and I'm going to take the wing 
away and grab my glue. Okay, this one is the uh, the thick consistency one. I don't think it matters too much which one you, you use for this type of job. I'm going to uh, try to keep it clear of the the hinge itself because we don't want that getting getting all gunged up with glue. There's one. I'm just putting a little bit of glue either side of the hinge here. And the other side. And drop it in place. Get the next one. down and I'm going to let that one dry before uh, I move on to the other wing because as I'm moving that around that's going to weaken these so best off keeping it uh, firm I think so we'll come back to that in a little while Okay, here we are, we've uh, given those wings time to dry, you can see that they're working well. The next well. Uh, section in the uh, instruction manual uh, says to cut two pieces of 270mm long carbon fibre strips and then glue them on the front wing. Uh, so this section here that they're referring to is across here provides bracing. This uh, is the carbon fibre strip that they're referring to and you'll see in the instruction manual that they refer to carbon fibre strip, carbon fibre strip and carbon fibre rod which is the other bits for the, uh, uh, we'll get to later on. So when they're talking about strip it's this flat stuff here, it's, uh, it's about a 4mm wide strip and that goes on the front section here. There's a little, little uh, slot here that's uh, been laser cut in but it's got a little strengthening tab across it there so we just need to uh, cut that I'll just put my little cutting board underneath there and we'll just split that there and save on this side so that we can get our, our rod in there the They've supplied two bits of rod here, one's 400 millimetres long and the other one is 800 millimetres long. Now just looking through the manual we've got to get two 270 mil pieces, a 92 mil piece and a 285 mil piece. So we've got plenty there. Um, we can get the 270 and a 92 out of the small one uh, and get the other two pieces out of this one. So we might start off with the small one. Easiest way probably to uh, get this is to just slide it in there and go along till you meet the edge here where it, uh, where it's going to finish and then we could mark it off and cut it there if you want to double check that we can put our, uh, our rule on there and we can see that that is 270 long this carbon fibre strip seems to cut ok with a pair of scissors like a pair of fairly decent scissors like these ones that I've got here so I'm just going to uh, cut that off there possibly a better way of doing that but it seems to work alright and we've got to glue that on there 
So I'm just going to keep that, that last piece there for later. I'm going to cut another 270mm long piece for this side. We'll glue them on at the same time. Okay, now I don't want to get glue all over my workbench here, so I just need to be a little bit careful. I think what we'll do is use this uh, cutting board again. And I'm going to uh, just run a bit of glue on the side of the, of the piece here like so. Actually what I might do is I might grab a bit of tape. Uh, that will help. So I'll just pause this. Okay. <clears throat> this has been sitting here for a while now and uh, I had to uh, add a little bit more along here because there wasn't quite enough on so point to remember is to make sure that you do put plenty of glue on there and that you need some form with this curvature you need some form of tape or something to keep the pressure on it while the glue is drying I found this uh, PVC electrical tape to work really well so let's just make sure that uh, it doesn't stick to the glue when I try to take it off uh. Okay, so that's it there. Now, what I recommend that you do is just go along and push it. You can see there. I don't know if you can see that. See me pushing that bit out there. The glue hasn't stuck there, so what I'm going to have to do is put some on. Okay, these are all dry now, and uh, they've uh, provided some rigidity to the wings. And then the next step is to uh, apply the. Uh, glue to this uh, fuselage, the horizontal section of the fuselage and attach it to the wing. So that one's going to go in there which is clearly printed on the on the manual. Okay so I had a bit of a problem here where uh, this uh, the glue just kept running out. You can see it possibly here on the on the bench. It's not working out too well for me so what I'm going to do I'm going to hold this uh, fuselage in position and just put a bit of tape across the seam here. Now all I'm really doing there is providing a, uh, a filler, if you like, a, 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 sorry, a sealer to stop, when I flip it over and put the glue on from the other side, to stop the glue from running out. As you saw here, so I'm just putting that there to hold it. Then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to apply the glue from this side and uh, see how that goes and let it dry because this glue doesn't uh, doesn't dry that quickly. I'm just running it around the seam here. Okay, I'm going to let that soak in and I know that that's not going to run down past the past the tape that I've put on the other side there and uh, so it should allow that to dry. So we'll just give that a few minutes.